Apparently, Amir Khan likes his chances versus Errol Spence, IBF welterweight champion, and uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, WBO welterweight champion, and says Styles make fights, all right? And apparently, Amir Khan won't smoke with Bud and won't smoke with Errol Spence um, in the near future. We back. It's the Boxing Clinic of Moore. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, one time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. We grinding. We working. And um, apparently... Um, you know, Amir Khan, you know, uh, likes his chances versus a few welterweights. Um, he said Sean Porter. He said a, D- a rematch with Danny Garcia. He knows that his potential Pacquiao, Kell Brook fight might be in December. But he mentioned Earl Spence and Terrence Bell Crawford and gave him props to say they're really good fighters, but Styles make fights and he's a smarter fighter. Now, um, Amir Khan had um, got an offer from uh, top ranked Bob Arum to face uh, Terrence Crawford right after he came back versus Phil O'Greco. All right. Apparently, you know, he didn't take the offer and um, he wanted to fight Samuel Vargas. So when he signed to fight Samuel Vargas, he started talking at Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford again. Name dropper. Now, Amir Khan ain't been one to been duck, to be ducked, but it's at a critical point in his career. You know, um, he don't duck. You know, he didn't used to duck. He used to fight all comers. Um, got knocked out. Was very, very resilient. Always bounced mount, always mount back quicker than a dribble. But um, he cloud chasing right here, man, and name dropping. You know what I'm saying? He could have fought Terrence Crawford in September. Top rank had reached out to Amir Khan. And apparently, according to Bob Arum, Amir Khan is a promotional free agent once he steps outside the UK. Matchroom is just his domestic uh, UK promoter. That's according to Bob Arum. But, um, you know, I guess he wanted another tune-up. But don't sign, don't, sign to sign, don't sign to fight Samuel Vargas and then start running your mouth. Uh, he was running his mouth at the sign. Like, I'll fight Earl, I'll fight Terrence. But you had an opportunity to sign up to fight both of them. He know he wasn't ready. He know he didn't want to smoke. And um, like I said, man, he just name dro- dropping and clout chasing. Um, you know, how you going to duck Kell Brook but want to go fight Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford? You know, go handle Kell Brook. I, I, you know, the Pacquiao fight is water in the bridge for me. You know, your motherfuckers could have fought years ago. All right? I don't care about Pacquiao matching up against nobody, really. You know, I'd rather him get out the game like Mayweather did. But I understand he got to make his pesos and, uh, and bounce back real quick. All right? But... No power to him. But we all know Amir Khan not going to fight Terrence Crawford or Earl Smith no time soon. He need to handle his business with um with Kell Brook. Like men in society, I got to handle my business. He got to handle business with Kell Brook. And then once you handle business with Kell Brook, you might get a rematch. That's money right there. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, Bud Crawford will re- retire that clown, man. Earl Spence will retire him. Y'all can say, oh, Cro- uh, Amir Khan moved faster in the ring. He got foot speed. At the end of the day, both of these dudes are very, very technical fighters in Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. They, how can I say it, they get stronger as fights go on. That's why it's so intriguing to see them fight each other. If you put them in there with Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman's a front runner. You know if they get past the sixth round, Bud Crawford and Earl Spence are two strong welterweights that get stronger during the fight. That's like a good running back. You know, the more you gave it to Adrian Peterson, the stronger he became and the weaker the defense came. The Amir Khan's the same way. He's a front runner. And eventually, you know, uh, Errol Spence is going to cut the ring off, make him a stationary target, and catch him. And eventually, Bud Crawford is going to time him when that speed drop off. And if, if that speed is still there, and knock him out. Would I like to see Amir Khan versus both of them? Fuck yeah. But I'd like to see him handle Kell Brook first. You know what I'm saying? And once you beat Kell Brook, rematch Kell Brook, then I'm like, okay, now you title worthy. You know, if you want to switch Pacquiao in there, then you title worthy. I feel him right now. But right now, it's not, it's not even in the cards right now. I'd love to see him fight Bud Crawford. But I know he's not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to fight Crawford right now. It will be beautiful if he fought Crawford. Come back, knock out Samuel Vargas and fight Crawford sometime at the top of next year in the second or the second quarter next year. Beautiful. But I know this delusional kind. You know what I'm saying? He ain't the same Amir Khan because he he running out of lives like a cat. He'd have been knocked out all this time. One more knockout, this shit's over. Like A.B. voice say, this shit's over. You know, it's over. So he knows it's critical. He's just running his mouth to stay relevant, man, and get people talking about that Samuel Vargas fight, man. And ain't nobody talking about that. It's going to be uh, free on Facebook, and I think uh, match on Facebook and Twitter page. So, yeah, some intrigue. Yeah, if we're not doing nothing Saturday afternoon, I'm going to watch that shit. I like Amir Khan. Like I say, man, Amir Khan is one of my favorite fighters as far as his throwback mentality. No matter how many times Amir Khan got knocked out, he bounced back. You know, he got a real throwback mentality, and I appreciate that even more now from from day one, and now I'm seeing how, how pussyfooting these fighters are. Pussyfooting around. I respect that about him, man. You know what? He ain't just a guy that'll, that'll talk the talk. 
He had walked the walk at one point in time. Right now, he's just talking to talk. Eventually, he come back, beat Vargas, beat Brooke, Pacquiao, something like that. Then, he had walked the walk. But right now, he know it ain't going to happen. You know, and I got to call him on his bullshit. But like I said, he got a real throwback mentality. You can call him delusional, crazy, whatever you want to call him. But that delusion, that delusion in his mind, it, it, but it, it, it kept him bouncing back. It kept him wanting to fight the best. He ain't just, you know, he took a couple of tunas. He get right back in there and right back in the fire. And that's the mentality I like that he had. All right, but it's the Boxing Clinic and Morris, boy, CJ Goodfella. One time for the one time. We on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check us out. Shout out to all the people that donate in the uh, PayPal and through the Super Chats. The PayPal link is in the description. All the links you need to know in the description. Our streaming group, we stream certain fights that we boycotting is in that group. Uh, our our, our uh, social media platforms, uh, email address for business use only. I mean, all types of stuff. I definitely appreciate all the brothers and sisters supporting us. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the mighty LDBC one time for the one time we gone.